is a pretty versatile, environmentally friendly fuel. It burns much cleaner than other energies like coal, carbon, diesel, etc. It, it's non-toxic. You can't spill it. It dissipates in the atmosphere and it doesn't impact the water table. So we have a pretty environmentally friendly fuel that a lot of us don't really know about. Um, the urban and rural piece. You talked a little bit about the role propane can play in supplying or supporting rural communities looking to maybe lower their emissions, move off diesel or other high energy sources. Can you talk a little bit about the transition from your perspective and how it perhaps looks a little bit different in the urban and rural settings across Canada? Distribution of propane has been around for 100 years. Every corner of the country is touched by propane distribution today. There's a very large infrastructure and most importantly that infrastructure is readily available for rural Canadians, which is something that other energies can't do. At any given day, hundreds and thousands of Canadians are using propane for businesses, their homes, their farms, and their fleets. So it's, it's quite a, a diverse and uh, interesting fuel. You think about residential customers, they use propane for heat, they use it for water, they use it for power generation. If you look at the commercial side of our industry, it's used for building heat, it's used to run equipment like forklifts, it's used in agriculture equipment, and as I mentioned earlier, fleets. And one thing I do want to stress is uh, propane's been around a number of decades in the vehicle side, and we call it autogas. And autogas is used predominantly today in school buses, and school buses like it because of the greenness of that energy and the environmental footprint of it. So you really summarize propane. If, the, if folks didn't know about propane walking in today, the versatility, it's safe. Uh, we've got a lot of it with more to come. How and where we use it is really the conversation point.